Well, good afternoon. I can't believe it. It's nearly four o'clock and I haven't picked the camera up today at all. <laughs> uh, I don't mind, but I've been up since quarter to eight this morning. Uh, I've had a bit of a lazy day, I must admit, today. Um, this morning there was a, a film on telly that I wanted to watch. It's uh, Oh, it was an old film. I think it was a 1956 film. It was black and white. And it was Murder Ahoy. Uh, it was a Miss Marple film. And Miss Marple was played by Margaret Rutherford. Now, I think she must have been about 70, 72 when she played that. And I think they only made four, four of the murder films. Um, I've got them on DVD, but you don't often see them on the TV. And I thought, well, I'm going to watch it, even though I've seen it before. So I settled down and got my knitting out. I thought I'll work on my socks. And I got a little bit carried away, as you'll see from the photograph that I'll put in. Can you spot the mistake? <laughs> I'm sure those eagle-eyed people that are out there will. I did my heel flap. And then I started picking up the stitches, didn't I? I hadn't even done the heel turn. So <laughs> I just had to un unpick some. So it's all sat ready now to do the heel turn, which I will do this evening. <laughs> Oh dear, I don't know. Uh, then we've had lunch. We just had beans on toast with cheese on today, which was really nice. I like beans on toast. And I thought I'd come out into my sewing room and I am going to unravel this. That's going to be my first, first job to do. Then at least I can use it in my sock. Uh, yeah. So when I finished, when I've done the heel, I'll probably show you the sock tomorrow. So I should be, by the time I show it you, I should be on the gusset. So that, that'll be good. But I can't believe I made that mistake. Simple mistake. I don't know. Uh, cross stitch. Well, I'll just quickly show you how far I've got on the cross stitch. I'm working on Peter's jacket so his arms about there and that's just sort of coming to I've got a little bit more to do down there and then I will have finished that front side of his jacket which is good I didn't do any yesterday I think uh, by the time we'd been out and done everything because we see went to my mother-in-law's and or queuing at Tesco's for shopping and by the time we got home I just thought oh, I can't, I can't be bothered, <laughs> I can't be bothered, because <laughs> yeah, I was a bit tired actually last night, um, yes, I'm not sure what else I'm doing today, I'm probably going to have to make some bread again, oh the bread's gone, I'm greedy little devils that they are, I've eaten it all, <laughs> um, most muffins have gone as well, which is good, I'm not complaining. I have, I did give a few away though, I must admit. So, uh, no, I'm not sure. I'm going to have a little bit of time doing my cross stitch and I've got one bag to sew for an order that I can post out tomorrow. And then really, I'm not sure what else I'm going to be doing today. But we'll see. <laughs> I just thought I'd pop back on and chat a little bit about the uh, rhubarb chutney and the cordial that I made the other day well I thought last night I ought to try some of the cordial I was sort of a bit unsure because I thought ginger you know and I made it up it was just a like a, like you're making up squash small amount and then top it up with water or fizzy water and I made it up and of course I could smell ginger and I thought, no, just come on, let's try it. And it is the most delicious thing I have ever tasted. I cannot believe how good it is. 
even Kevin liked it. So it looks like my fridge is going to be stocked up with cordial <laughs> from now on. <laughs> oh my word. I mean, because I haven't got any fresh ginger and it did say a centimetre cube of ginger to go in with the cooking. Which, as I don't use ginger, I don't know if that's going to be a lot of ginger. It's going to be strongly flavoured or not. So it was really a bit of a guess putting powdered ginger in and I put, I said, to, I asked Adele, I said, what do you reckon, how much to put in? And she said, well, no more than half a teaspoon. So I thought, okay. <laughs> and I still thought that was a bit too much, but no, it's absolutely delicious. So there is no excuse now for me having spare rhubarb because that is so good. And I think there's um, maybe lemonade, gin, fizzy water, anything like that. And ice cubes in the summer. I suppose you could even put some rhubarb in if you like rhubarb as it comes from the garden. But, oh, so nice. I will put, well, I will insert a picture of a glass full of it. testing the rhubarb gin, rhubarb gin, rhubarb cordial. Yeah. Is it very gingery? No, it's not very gingery. You can just tell it's there. I wouldn't mm. have guessed it was rhubarb though. Mostly no. because of the colour. Why is it orange? I think it's gone like that overnight. It was yeah, a, wasn't it pinker? It was a little bit pinker last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice though. Sweet, but not too sweet. Good. That's what you said, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> now, I made the chutney up as per instructions. And all well, you'll have seen from the photo from the other day, I've got two small jars, which actually is perfect because that's all I needed. Um, I, I split the cordial and the chutney between us and my mother-in-law. And... Obviously, I put it in the jars, and it said just keep stirring it until it starts to thicken. Now, it's not going to be solid like jam, but I don't know. I don't know if it's going to thicken up anymore because it, it didn't look very thick. But I'm hoping it's okay. But having said that, after I'd emptied everything into the jars, there was sort of a little bit in the pan. So I had a taste. Oh, it's so nice. <gasps> That is definitely on the list to make again. It, oh my God, it is gorgeous. It's sweet, but not too sweet. And there's that little bit of sharpness there, but not too much. And it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to leave it for a few days to, I don't know, what is it, mature or whatever. And then I think we're going to, well, I've got a jar that we bought when we're on holiday uh, and we're using that up at the minute so i'm really looking forward to having this and i think kevin will like it as well because like i say it's really nice i could just i can just see us having cheese on toast with rhubarb chutney because that's something we do like so yeah so if you grow rhubarb or you can get rhubarb please try these recipes out because they are absolutely brilliant i will put a link down below i'll try not to forget this time for the cordial and for the chutney so i am i am really looking forward to making some uh, rhubarb gin now i just need to get a bottle of plain gin and that's proving a bit difficult because obviously I've shopped online for the last couple of, well, last few weeks. And the gin that's there is, 
£20, £30 upwards and I didn't want to spend that kind of money just in case we didn't like it. So I think I'm going to have to see if I can pick a bottle of plain gin up when I'm out and I go shopping. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I can't, I, actually, I, that's the one I'm quite excited about really. So yes, well I do hope you try some because it's they're brilliant. And I think I'm going to call it a day now with the cross stitch. I've nearly done the first half of the jacket. I mean, you can't really tell from that, but I feel like I've been sat here hours and I haven't. <clears throat> but oh, enough's enough. My eyes are getting tired now. That was a bit of a strain because sometimes finding the hole from the back, you're poking your needle up and you think you're in the right place and you're not. <coughs> Oh, so that's it now. I think I'm going to go and have a little break, have a drink, <laughs> and then I'm going to do something different. But now I've enjoyed that. Well, thank you for joining me today. Uh, I hope everybody's well and stay safe, and I shall see you all again tomorrow. Bye for now.